I'm gonna show you today how to install the uh, Cascadia mirrors on the FLD and classic trucks because it's pretty much the same cap um, and also I'm gonna show you around a little bit about my truck people has been asking it's just an old FLD 120 it's got the 20 inch bumper all bent I've been here a couple of years lately <laughs> And uh, the visor, people is asking about the visor. I believe it's a 22 inch from a a stainless. You can actually see. I'm gonna go inside. Uh, the paint, it's uh, just white with um, some flakes. My cousin painted the truck for me. And this is pretty much how the visor from the inside looks. It's pretty much the same. Um, the same length as the actual sun visor so that's the, the reason I removed them and you know people has been asking for it so in order for me to show you how I how I did it I'm gonna have to remove the, the door panels which that's what I'm gonna do next I'm just gonna show you you know the basic what you need to do like in this case for example uh, in, these caps are a little bit smaller uh, the Cascadia caps are a little bit wider, so that's the reason I put a spacer here. Uh, this spacer is made out of uh, plexiglass. Um, I just found some really thick plexiglass laying around, and I cut it. And I did. I did use the. Excuse me. I did use the um, the gasket as a molding, and I cut it just with a meter saw, and then I just cut the corners with a jigsaw, and and uh, I belt sanded them. Just to make it nice and round and um, the nuts and bolts they, they are made out of stainless steel so I'm gonna go ahead and, and take this panel off and I'll show you the rest I have to remove this one now I just wanted to show you a tip like in these trucks they have a lot of um, bolts to hold this metal cover they get worn out they break so you end up having not many holding this panel a little tip get these bolts they're like a quarter inch long or yeah somewhere around they barely, they're self-tapping stainless steel. And as you can see, once you put it on, put them on, I don't know if you can actually see, but I'm gonna try to show you. They don't come out on the other side. They barely show, they barely show. I don't know if you can see there. And if you do it that way, you can actually um, have a good um, grip on your, on your, on your panel because otherwise it's going to be flapping around but you don't want to do uh, big holes or you know put um, nuts and bolts to go through this is what I found out you don't need to worry about the thread you just do make a new thread because they're, they're self tapping they just do their own thread and it's good to go all right let me let me finish removing this panel I was able to get to the cables and um, I'm gonna show you I was able to hook up everything up I mean on these trucks you only have left right and heater I'm gonna show you that it actually works and you can actually see right left there you go and also the heater works but it, you have to open the switch the ignition switch so here are the colors that's the way it goes i actually did a little drawing i'm gonna see if i can show it to you there it is on the left you got all the cascadia uh wires on the right the fld classic there's a 2000 fld i expect most of them have the same 
wiring colors so this is how it goes uh, the black on the cascadia goes to the white fld and those the right blue cascadia goes to green and goes to left the green cascadia goes to the red and that's the heater the white on the cascadia goes to the black on the fld and that does the ground they will share the same uh, ground obviously you got coming out of the cascadia the red and the yellow i believe that's for up and down but in this in these trucks they don't have up and down so you just have to adjust manually and and use it as is here you can see that i put up a, a plate when i built it i didn't have a, a thick enough one so i put two i believe it's one 16 inch thick and i put them together with bolts with the sub tapping screws i cut them and then i use the stainless steel bolts that go all the way through let me see if i got a measuring tape to see uh, to measure them to see how long are they i don't know you can see so okay i hope you can see there so i got a an inch three eighths more or less uh, uh plate spacer and the actual bolt is like a three three inches three three and a quarter i'm I, i'm guessing it's three and a quarter because if you know because if it's, it's inside uh, and and that's it that's pretty much it um another suggestion just put it as close as you can to the edge of the door uh right here why because that help him uh, be more stiff otherwise it's gonna shake plus these mirrors are huge i know there is a, a newer model because I, I got these mirrors on my truck like for five years or so i was like pretty much the first people who did it and uh when i did it this was the only one available i bought them on ebay used miami star didn't even have them back then for sale and I, you can actually see that i put them a little bit behind i mean the vibration it was okay the only reason i moved forward because of i couldn't see much it's so big that it, it will cover the entire window so that's pretty much it guys um you can see you gotta run the wire through the through the door as well and in this case you can put it the the opposite way the bolts they won't they won't bother the window i did it this way because i'm i'm planning on the future i don't know you can see this all rusted out um there is some guys up in miami down here in miami that actually take this little window off the truck and they make one whole piece and um that's my plan to do it in the future that's the reason why i did it like this um because i want to do that in the future so uh let me put everything back in place let me put everything together um i just did it this way so you can actually show you uh there's two bolts up there i don't know you can actually see them um because people have been asking so i hope you like this short video on how to install these mirrors i don't regret it at all i mean you get a little bit of vibration but i was getting a little bit of vibration on the um on the actual on the original ones and i went with these mirrors because it's a cheap choice if you're gonna get a like custom made brackets uh, i wanted to to go with the the new style mirrors for the Peterbilt, the 389 model but they were so expensive they look so clean but they're so expensive and this was i was i believe i paid somewhere around 350 400 bucks for the pair back then and i found this pexi glass uh, just laying around in the yard i park uh, like this you can actually i forgot to mention that you can buy a, a thinner pexi glass because this actually to buy this is really expensive you can buy a thinner one probably like a quarter inch and build it up all the way in layers you have to glue them together though there is a special glue uh i'm gonna see if i can find you um the link they sell it on, on ebay and amazon that actually melts the pexi glass together you just get it with a vice grip 
and, and, and it's like crazy glue. You just lay it around it, around the edges, and we'll melt the pieces together. Like, I know one of these pieces, I didn't have the, the it wasn't wide enough, and I had to melt two of them together. Once it's been painted, I mean, you won't notice. And, and it, it welds right on. It's like, like, like welding stuff together. It works pretty good, and that way you can save some money because this actually is pretty expensive. Another notation I gotta say, I've seen some um, Freylander Columbia's models and, uh, and Century models, and I have seen them without this. I've, I've seen some people that do put the spacer and some people that don't. They might have the, the clearance. On this, you must, otherwise you won't see. Unless you got a really a really thin trailer, not wide enough. I mean, a really no no not too wide. But when I I barely put, when I put it the first time, when I put it the first time, I put them straight to the door, and I couldn't see nothing, nothing. Um, so yeah, if you got a, a century, um, a Columbia, you might get you might get away with the, without this. So thank you guys. I hope you guys like the video. If you wanna see something else about my truck or, or any other project, uh, let me know. I'll I'll work on it. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.